So can you stack CGC 1295, Tessa Morellin, and Ipa Morellin? I'm just gonna go ahead and give you guys the science. The most important thing to understand is that CJC and Tessa Morellin operate on the same exact mechanism. And once you see how they work, you'll understand why stacking them is redundant at best. But first, let's talk about the problem. Most people, including clinics, think that CJC and Tessa Morellin have completely different mechanisms. CJC 1295 is marketed for sleep and recovery, while Tessa Morellin is marketed for visceral fat loss. So it seems like they do completely different things, and you should stack them together so you can get the benefits from both. But that's wrong. Here's actually what's happening. Both CJC1295 and Tessa Marilyn are GHRH analogs. They're binding to the same exact receptors in your pituitary gland. Same pathway, same mechanism. In fact, they were both developed for the same condition, HIV-associated lipodystrophy. The key difference is CJC1295 actually failed its clinical trials because there was a death in one of the patients, which was later determined to be unrelated to the drug. But the most important thing to understand is that the only reason they're associated with different benefits is because they were studied differently. The Tessa Morellin trials directly measured visceral fat reduction using CT scans so they could get FDA approval. The CJC trials only measured growth hormone in IGF-1 because those trials were terminated early. So even though the way that they measured success for these peptides was different, they're doing the exact same thing. Now, there are a couple of technical differences. CJC1295 has an option where you can get it with DAC. This gives us a longer half-life, reducing the number of injections you have to do, where Tessa Morellin and CJC without DAC, they have a 30-minute to 45-minute half-life, respectively. Now, some say that because they have different half-lifes, it makes them more complementary. Well, if that works, just use CJC with DAC for baseline, then CJC without DAC for pulses or dose CJC without DAC more frequently. You don't need two GHRH analogs hitting the same receptors. So if your goal is to increase your growth hormone and subsequently your IGF-1 levels, the best stack is some type of GHRH analog plus ipamorelin. The reason is because ipamorelin works through your ghrelin receptors, which is a completely different pathway. So pick one GHRH analog, tessamorelin, CJC, or sermorelin, then pair it with ipamorelin. This is going to be a synergistic and complementary stack that's going to target both receptor systems that influence growth hormone production. So if anybody's telling you that you should stack CJC and Tessa Morellin together, what they're really saying is that they don't truly understand what these peptides do. Pick one GHRH analog, add ipamorelin, and save yourself some money. And if you like this content and want more in our private community, all you have to do is just comment the word school with a K below, and I'll send you the link to sign up. I hope this was valuable.